Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Days of our live spoilers recap for Wednesday March 29th reveals that Stefan Demera, Brandon Barish, kissed Gabby Hernandez, Camilla Banis, before pulling away and insisting this didn't feel right. Although Stefan assured Gabby that he wanted her more than anything after all this time, he felt like Nicole Walker, Ariane Zucker, and EJ Demera, Dan Feuerregel, had to be setting them up. Gabby suggested they could at least have a quickie, but Stefan warned that they couldn't risk it since Lee Shin, Remington Hoffman, was probably on his way over. Once Gabby relented, Stefan came up with an idea on how to prove they were playing chess while EJ was playing checkers. At home, Lee was skeptical of EJ's claims about Gabby cheating with Stefan, but he eventually accepted the key card EJ offered and decided to see the truth for himself. At the pub on Wednesday's Days episode, Sloane Peterson, Jessica Surfati, demanded to know what Rafe Hernandez, Camilla Banis, and Jada Hunter, Elia Cantu, were hauling her down to the station for. Jada and Rafe explained that Paulina Price, Jack A. Harry, had accused Sloane of ransacking her office, so Sloane agreed to answer their questions and let them lead her away. Outside, Nicole was delighted to see Sloane in trouble with the law, but Jada pushed Nicole to back off or risk getting hauled in herself. Soon after, Nicole gloated a bit to Eric about Sloane's predicament and fished for more info. Eric wound up going on a tirade about all the losses he'd faced and acted like he had no more cheeks to turn. At the Salem PD on Wednesday's duel show, Sloan denied any involvement in trashing Paulina's office. When DA Melinda Trask, Tina Huang, showed up, Sloan acted like Rafe and Jada were trying to railroad her for a crime she didn't commit. Trask pulled Rafe aside to warn him that she couldn't look like she was using her position against a rival. If Rafe was going to take Sloan down for this break-in, then his case needed to be ironclad. After Trask took off, Rafe and Jada were forced to let Sloan go due to lack of evidence. Sloan wound up back at her apartment with Eric, who wondered if she was actually guilty. Although Sloan seemed offended, she assured Eric that she neither trashed Paulina's office herself nor did she hire anyone to do it. Eric believed Sloan and pulled her into a comforting hug. In the town square, Paulina struggled to breathe and felt her chest tighten as she got all worked up over Sloan. Once Paulina said she thought she was having a heart attack, Talia Hunter, a Catra civilian, asked for her symptoms and offered some breathing techniques to calm her down. Paulina quickly felt better, so Talia explained that she likely had a panic attack and urged her to get some help to handle all her stress. Paulina was taken aback over the news that Talia had a medical degree. Talia explained that her mother wasn't thrilled about her career change from doctor to baker, but her mom ultimately wanted her to be happy. After Paulina got updates on Sloane's release, she became outraged all over again. Chanel Dupree, Raven Bowens, privately worried to Talia about all the stress that Paulina was under since she didn't know how much more her mom could take. In Paulina's office, she found an envelope with her name on it that wasn't there before. It contained a note with letters that had been cut out of magazines and the message said, This is an over bitch. Next on Wednesday's Day's episode, Lee barged in the hotel room that EJ sent him to. When Lee caught Stefan in bed with a dark-haired woman, he flew into a rage. Stefan jumped out of bed and started getting dressed while the woman hid under the sheets. Lee insisted Gabby should show herself, but it turned out to be Melinda Trask instead. Stefan argued that since Gabby was committed to her marriage contract with Lee, he had decided to move on. Melinda insisted she'd had her eye on Stefan for quite some time and seemingly convinced Lee that this hookup was legit. Once Lee returned home, he was surprised to see Gabby lounging around in casual clothes like she'd been there for a while. Gabby claimed Nicole tried to set her up with Stefan, but she assured Lee that she'd never risk the shares and that she would honor her commitment. Back with Stefan, he thanked Melinda for all her help. Melinda admitted it was fun getting the upper hand on EJ and using her hidden talent since she did a little acting in school. Plus, Melinda was counting on Stefan to eventually give her a seat on the corporate board and make a sizable donation to the foundation she set up in her daughter's name. As for Melinda's interest in Stefan, she admitted she wasn't lying about having her eye on him. 
If things didn't work out with Gabby, Melinda suggested Stefan knew where to find her. Stefan appreciated the offer, but he assured Melinda that his heart and all his other body parts belonged to Gabby. At the pub again on Wednesday's Days episode, EJ and Nicole celebrated since they expected their setup had paid off by now. Finally, Rafe and Jada talked about going home to have some crummy dinners alone, so they laughed together and seemed to be pining for each other as they parted ways for the evening. Days of Our Lives spoilers say Jada will get a push in Rafe's direction soon, so stay tuned to Duel. Update News